Hey, and welcome back to Recreate Creative Shed. Here we are again. Um, so in the last um, uh, video, we were talking about, well, I was talking about making games with things that you can make out of um, bits and pieces that you will find at home. Uh, now, I did use the humble to uh, toilet roll down here. So that could be one thing that you might use as your tubing. Um, and I, we were talking about making like a game where you would throw rings onto a piece of board like this and I've got different sh sizes and shapes of tube to make it either easier or harder and um, so I have done two examples there of how I've done the attachments so I've used the masking tape which was first my enemy and now my friend um, and then I just put down taped down little legs like that on four sides and then went around to reinforce it a little bit then with the ones that aren't masking taped, I cut a circle, I um, drew a circle, the base of the tube, like that, then went north to south, east to west, and then the lines in between, a bit like cutting up a pizza, and then pushed, glued the inside of the tube, the inside of the tube here, and then pushed the little triangles onto the inside using a stick because I knew I was going to burn my fingers. So I just pushed them in on the inside so you can see. There we go. I've just pushed them in there. Um, we, I don't know if that will, the, the glued ones will stand up to it. I think the masking tape ones are probably better. You could use sellotape. So whilst I was putting this together, um, I made my rings um, out of card so they can go on as well. And then I made also three rings out of newspaper. Now these ones look pretty um, and they're nice and shiny, um, but these ones are actually, uh, actually throw better. They're a better size and they actually throw better, even though they don't look super aerodynamic. Um, so and once you finish the game, you can wear those lovely, beautiful bangles. Anyway, I digress. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I was thinking about things. Um, I ran out and got a toilet roll that um, we had been finished with. Um, I've got a couple more here because we might do something with those um, because we're going to have a lot of them. And I think it's kind of funny um, that people were panic buying toilet rolls. And now there's a, um, a limit on how many you can buy. So I um, we had a quick go of this and it is quite challenging as it is. I thought you could uh, paint it if you do, if, especially if you've done it on card like this, you could paint it all like white or something and then put cool designs onto it. Maybe even put a circle around um, like one of them. Let's say this one's painted, put a circle around and then we're going to say that this one is like five points or something. Um, so you've got you can actually then get a little bit competitive with the people that you live with and um, uh, have different scores for it. Um, also, I was thinking about making it a, more complicated again, a little bit more challenging and thinking about sticking in uh, cutting little slots and pushing these like in. So maybe here and here. But pushing them right in, so all that's sticking out is either a little bit like that. Like you could use anything. You could use the chopsticks and just have a little bit sticking out, like a little spike. So when you get it over, you maybe have. If you get it gets stuck here, you get five points. If it gets stuck here, you get ten points. If it goes all the way down, you could have fifteen points. So there are loads of ways of adapting this game that we've started. Um, and I also have, uh, this started off uh, inspiring me. So these are from Recreate. These are from the inside of uh, spools of wool or cotton um, from Avoca. And they come in these fabulous colors like this. Um, they don't come in hugely often, but when they do, they go out really, really quickly. But you could do a similar kind of thing with making a cone um, rather than a tube. So if you did, didn't did have anything tube like at home, you could either make a tube out of card by rolling, you could, um, or you could make a cone shape like out of the card or paper even. Um, but yeah, I think painting it and then putting a cool design on it and then making it slightly harder and slightly challenging is a really cool idea. So spurred on from that because something always happens, like, when you're making stuff, you're thinking about things and you're like, oh, maybe what I could do is uh, da, 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 da. So the next thing I thought of with the paper rings that are really actually surprisingly quite good. Um, I was thinking about um, I, I kind of briefly mentioned a coconut shy and that's like what you'd find in a fairground. Um, if you didn't know. Uh, so the same principle with the rings. But scrunching up a piece of paper. 
like this, maybe a few pieces of paper, and then having them balance on the top. And then the idea is that you then knock it off. And um, so where is the beginning of my masking tape? There we go. Um, yeah, like I said, I have an abundance of rubbish, rubbish masking tape, but today it's my friend, my take it back. You're being rubbish, I didn't mean it. Um, so uh, I'm just rough, really, really roughly wrapping it around. And you could do big, you could do really, really small, so they're a little bit harder. You could add something inside to make them more heavy. Um, I was thinking, okay, so uh, I have currently a lot of bottle caps, so you could stick them inside to give a bit of weight or a bit of screwed up fabric. I've got a few off cuts of fabric and stuff, you could stick that inside. Uh, but you could get them quite mushed in together, right? Beautiful, like that. So you could do one for each. Maybe you could do like quite small ones. It's quite sits quite tightly in there, or you could do really big ones to make it easier potentially for the little people. And then make a couple, maybe make three of these for yourself, and have your two meters away, and then you could be throwing it good target practice you could even paint somebody's head on that and pretend it's somebody's head or on here <laughs> actually that would be quite a cool idea wouldn't it paint it all white have your scores and then each of these could be uh, you could give them like a bow tie or a shirt and a pair of trousers and then these could be little heads that you put on top you could draw their little faces on there with a marker pen or paint them as well um, and then um, pretend like you're getting your anger and frustration out by lobbing balls at them. Um, there's just one more quick game that I wanted to do before um, we finish up here today. Uh, this is, is going to be like you'll have loads and loads to do with this. I'd love to see what you do. I know I say that most videos now, but I'm really intrigued. I suppose I'm give putting out there and uh, uh, I love to see what people are putting back in. Um, so the last game I was going to play uh, was this one here. Um, it's with our classic piece of cardboard again. Yes, I'm losing that phrase. Uh, I was going to cut it into a square. If you have any board or anything at home, I was just trying to think, like, what could you use to, um, to play this game? So I have cardboard. Luckily, like I said earlier, I am very fortunate to have um, a little abundance of, like, materials and stuff. Um, so we could also, or maybe not use this because there's a lip on it so you want something completely flat i was just thinking that sometimes my cards look a bit low uh, which will make this game a little bit more challenging so the same principle that we did here sticking that on you're going to cut yourself a piece of tube or a stick or something that you can hold on to um you could even could you use a branch maybe or a twig potentially it depends if you've found the perfect twig but you could stick that on underneath the same way that we did before uh, or the way that I did before with the tape so you could tape here 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 and then do a little square round and then attach it to the handle and then with your homemade ball you're gonna the challenge is that you have your hand at the bottom and I think that is probably hmm maybe a size five foot <laughs> if we're getting technical with measurements so uh that's going to stick onto there like that as i said and then you can either make a ball but you might have a ball at home and you could set yourself up a little miniature uh obstacle course so maybe you have to jump over um what kind of thing would you have at home um maybe you have to go up the stairs back down again whilst balancing the ball Whoops. Obviously, that's not going to work. Whilst balancing the ball on your piece of card as well, and may or maybe I've seen this played before. Um, us at Recreate, big fans of the cube. Um, I've seen it before where they've gone through an obstacle course and then they've had to tip the uh, ball into a jar or a basket or a bowl or whatever, and in the bowl of sweets. So once you've completed the obstacle course, you drop the bowl in and then you get the sweets. Okay, I think I'll leave it there. I feel like this video has been quite long. So thanks for sticking with me for, through this. Um, look forward to hearing from you. I hope you're all safe and well. And uh, sure, I'll be catching you soon anyway. All right, take care. Thank you.